camera action. The official trailer for the Tammy Faye Baker movie is out. It is a biopic on Tammy and her first husband. And the mercurial televangelist couple was known all over the world for the Christian show, the PTL Club, back in the 70s and the 80s. The couple got its start in television in Charlotte, and for years, PTL originated out of Fort Mill. Well, that trailer had us asking what remains of the empire the Bakers built and what doesn't. Fox 46's Derek Dellinger spent the day looking around the site of the former Heritage USA in Fort Mill and joins us live in the newsroom tonight. And Derek, there's a lot of that's still there, but more that isn't. Uh, yeah, that's really one way of putting it. With that trailer out, we wanted to give you a little perspective on not only the, the, the local aspects of this that are basically tied to not only the movie, but but also the bakers themselves, but also what's still out there that you might not even realize. For the last 10 years, the Humane Society of York County has had their base of operations in the shadows of what was Heritage USA. It's literally right across the street. So much of it was built just for the PTL, which is amazing to me. It was built to be self-sustained. Mary Beth Knapp remembers the time before the Humane Society came there. We found an old map of the Christian theme park and the property was actually part of the park. The um, narrowways moved from the outdoor theater, which was so much fun. I went there several times with my kids. So nice to see you all. And that park used to be a big deal. You can find YouTube clips of Jim and Tammy Faye Baker and their PTL broadcasts. They started their show in Charlotte in the 70s before in later years moving it to Fort Mill. Financial and sexual scandal would eventually lead to the downfall. Their pledge just for one month. Much of that will soon be dramatized in the eyes of Tammy Faye, a movie due out later this year. Fox 46 was there for some of the filming as it took place in Charlotte. Down in Fort Mill, though, there's a lot that's changed. Regent Parkway is now home to other businesses in residential areas, much of it bought up and redeveloped. The famous Heritage Tower, a 21-story tower which never opened, has set crumbling for decades and just last week got new life put into it to renovate it into a Christian community. The rest of it is occupied by Morningstar Fellowship Church and Heritage International Ministries. And there are still signs of what the Bakers built, in a figurative sense, still being there too. I've had some folks drive by and, and pull into the parking lot, and I'm sure they live local, who will come and say, we're praying for you. We're praying that every animal finds a home. Now, Naps says that she works with some people over at the Humane Society that are, shall we say, of a certain generation, don't really know much about PTL, or for the ma that matter, the Bakers, or their influence on this area. And the fact that uh, all this pretty much happened, uh, the history of, of this uh, the PTL really happened in their backyards. That movie, by the way, is due out later this year, and it is bound to give a lot of people a history lesson, although one that's somewhat dramatized. Right? Yeah, that's a lot of people around here. It was uh, the talk of the town for mm -hmm. a while for the Bakers, it is. Yeah. All right, Derek Dellinger, live in the newsroom.